well be thinking again. Set like a solitary jewel in the vast Atlantic, the island of Madeira boasts the most fertile soil in the world. Because there's so little of the island, only 285 square miles, the soil is its most precious possession. That's why they train their grapevines over those high trellises, allowing other crops to grow in between. The grapes, of course, are Madeira's most important harvest, producing the distinguished wines which have made the island world famous. After the pressing and a period of fermentation, the wine is treated by a unique heating system, the estufa. It's this process which gives Madeira wines their darker colouring and distinctive flavour. Then, in the cool wine lodges of Funchal, the capital, each vintage rests and matures, in some cases for as long as ten years. Portuguese law stipulates that no wine should be shipped from the island for at least 13 months after the heating process. Madeira was discovered in the early 15th century. It wasn't long before early colonists introduced vines from Crete, Germany, Spain and Italy, which produced the four main classes of Madeira wine. The experts have to nose out the good from the bad. Their unusual qualities, together with the great age to which they live, have gained the wines of Madeira a reputation which has lasted over 300 years. According to legend, the condemned Duke of Clarence escaped execution by drowning in a butt of Madeira's Malmsey wine. Certainly there could be no sweeter way to go. On to 